Hey, good morning. So in a previous video, I took this model and brought it into um, Lumion. So today I want to take the same model, add a couple materials to these doors that I added and bring this into iClone uh, and using iRay render out a quick image of what this model would look like. Now this model was created from a 360 photograph and what I did to add a little depth was add some windows, add a ceiling fan and add some base uh, trim to the room just to give it a little bit of a uh, little bit more depth and character so all the walls the outlets um, ceiling material and the floor material is from the actual photograph taken inside that room so what we'll do is export this as an fbx file from sketchup once we have that xbf xbx file created uh, we will open up 3D Exchange, open that file. If I can find it here. Import that, these settings. It'll take a little bit of time. And now we've got our model inside of 3D Exchange. You can spin around, just check things out, make sure things look like they should to you. The lighting is going to look a little strange at this point, but uh, I think it'll be okay. All right, so what we'll do is make sure we have iClone open in the background, and then up in the top right, there's a button that says apply to iClone. So we'll apply this model to iClone. Go back to iClone. You can see now it's populated there inside this uh, workspace so that's pretty cool and I'm going to change the uh, lens focal length and zoom in here get inside this model a little bit find a good position that I can export an iRay uh, rendering now the iRay plugin for iClone is pretty good it's not as fast definitely not as fast as importing all this and live linking it to Unreal Engine, but the quality of the plugin is really good. It um, takes a lot of time per frame, but it reduces the headache and stress of trying to create all the recorded sequences and stuff inside of Unreal Engine. So if you don't feel like um, bothering with Unreal, then get the plugin and uh, and you can see right here, I'll do a little test of this iRay view. And you can see, I kind of want to make it dark with just a little bit of light coming in the window. You can also add lights to the room, obviously. But this was a really quick model created from a 360 degree photograph. And I uh, hope you found it useful.